And, um, you know, hopefully he does a great job for us. Why did you think he was going to win at 9 o'clock? I just said it was a gut feeling. I just said it was a gut feeling. Do you want to share who did you vote for? It was just a gut feeling. Who did you vote for? Clinton. You vote for Clinton? Yeah, who did you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you got it. Were you sad or happy with the outcome of the election? Well, I'm not a... I'm not anti-government, but I'm kind of anti-politics. Um, one of the reasons why I get in trouble sometimes because I never go, always go against the grain. I don't always believe in saying a politically correct thing. I believe in being transparent and being honest. And sometimes that rub people the wrong way. There's a lot of sensitive people in the world. Um, so the good thing about it is we have a flawed man uh, in office leading our country um, who's had some really public nasty things go on um, but I think that's a good thing because you know we put certain people in certain positions on a pedestal and we expect perfection and that's not the case and I think if we all look in the mirror we will all see uh, someone uh, who also has their own issues so I would leave it at that. He's a guy, though. I mean, he I would leave it at that. Let's talk football. I know the last week, Brandon Max.